Wanderer and we're here on game day uh, in Ryderville just outside of Mosaic Stadium uh, and we're going to be talking to some Ryder fans. So uh, how long have you guys been Ryder fans? Uh, since I was born, I mean it runs in the family, so as soon as you're born you're a Ryder fan. Oh, pretty much all my life. All your life? All my life, yeah. Oh, for years. And uh, what about you guys? Years too. Years too. Since I was born. Mama just gave us season tickets when we just popped out. <laughs> Is that true, Mom? Yeah, it's true. Well, Excuse me, uh, sir, how long have you been a Ryder fan? This long. Wow. What would you say sets Ryder fans apart from other fans? Oh, uh, they show up all the time. Bigger fan base, for sure. Way bigger fan base. Better partying. We are dependable. We're there even when they don't win. Oh, I'd say the enthusiasm. All, all Ryder fans are crazy. Ryder season does not begin in June and then in November. It is year long. Because we always stick with our team no matter what. I'm Roger Aldake. I live at Regina Beach. Well, I play the Rough Riders from uh, 1976 to 1992 and now I'm a fan and one of the biggest fans with Ryder Nation. Awesome! And so what would you say sets Ryder fans apart from other CFL fans? Well, I think they've just been through a lot. Uh, the good and the bad times and now that it's good times, it's uh, brings a whole province together. What was it like being uh, being a player and, and having so many Ryder fans behind you? What, what was that like? Oh, it was great. I mean, like, you could talk to anybody, uh, local guys like myself, Bob Pulley, Greg Fieger, that uh, born and raised here, but uh, everybody that come from the States, whatever, big time college, they come here and play and they really love playing here because it's just uh, support of the fans and it's just... Uh, it was just a great place to play football, and I'm just very, very proud that I had the opportunity to play my years here. One last question for you. Who's that handsome man up on the wall? <laughs> I always say that's my younger brother, but uh, <laughs> I guess it was me at one time, oh, yes. I, I think you're still very <laughs> handsome. So, Who's this handsome man right here? I mean, I <laughs> The Rough Riders have 258,000 fans on Facebook and 95,000 Twitter followers. The team made $68 million in 2013 to 2014. Merchandise sales alone reached a record high of $13 million. The Rough Riders sell by far the most merchandise of any other CFL team. What would you say sets Rider fans apart from other CFL fans? Uh, the passion and dedication. I mean, you know, uh, this team went through numerous years of uh, struggling and you know, for the last decade or whatever it is, you know, it's been very successful and the fans make a big difference. You know, everyone hates playing here because the fans are so rowdy and so loud. Hey, shout out to Ryder Nation. It's, uh, they're huge. They're always on our side. They're always making it tough for the opponent and it makes it a real hard place to play and we appreciate everything they do. I'm Paul Walden. I'm 21 with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, uh, born and raised here in Regina, Saskatchewan. You grew up as a fan and now that you're a player for the Riders, um, how, has, uh, how has your perspective changed on, on Ryder fans, I guess? I think you, you really start to understand the, the support that, that we have here. Um, like I said, we're a community-owned team, and you know, we're one of the most successful sports organizations in, in all North America, and, and it's, it's because of the fans, right? So I think you really start to understand. You don't understand things like that when you're a child or when you're young. You know, you just come here and have fun. But as you get older, you really start to see the support and, and how, how amazing it is. Thank you very much. We love your support, and, uh, and keep supporting us.